Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one of the most exciting nights of Pulse in a long time. And I can tell you that this Sunday at Uprising, a new era of CME will begin. We're investing a lot of money. Now we're going to get some brand new cameras. We did this last year. We're going to make this a yearly update. How about that? New HD cameras. Going to make sure you can get even closer to the action. Not just that. Not just the improvement in production values, but... At the end of the day, the most important thing is we deliver a hell of a show, and I guarantee you this Sunday, Uprising will be a hell of a show. We've got countless matches that are going to blow your, your mind. The, the main event is going to be a tables, ladders, and chairs match between Joel Hernandez and Jackson Montgomery to decide the number one contender to the world title. Uh, we've got the Uprising Tournament itself, which these two men, Blitzkrieg and Pierce, are looking to advance to the semi-finals of. The winner of this match takes on Takeshi Kato, and the winner of the next match takes on Rich Reed in the semi-finals. We've got all that. We've got a new opponent for Ivan uh, to defend the World Championship against. We've got a debuting superstar, a debuting wrestler going for the television championship against Avery. Spectrum versus Hollywood Elite. For the tag team titles, we've got the Mason family still going out against Otto and, and, and whoa, 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 okay, Blitzkrieg starting this one off early. I didn't get to hype up the rest of the show. Referee Senior will be in action, ladies and gentlemen, teaming up with his son and Otto to take on the Mason family. That's one I can't wait for. What a sling blade by Pierce. Women's title is going to be on the line. We've got Penny versus Ico as well. It's going to be an amazing show. Let's let's get to tonight's amazing show. Holy hell, Pierce just got knees right in the spine, and Blitzkrieg may have already won this match. There's P Pierce might be in traction. Blitzkrieg off the top row, coming with a crazy flying clothesline, but gets sidestepped to Pierce's credit. He is back up, springboard, cross body. Okay, maybe he's not in traction, but that was an ugly looking fall nonetheless. Pierce off the top rope, double axe handle right to the upper back. Nice springboard crossbody misses. Blitzkrieg rolls out of the way. He springboard drop kicks him right in the back. These guys are going a mile a minute. I can hardly keep up. All right, now I have some breathing room here. Oh, Pierce, deep arm drag counters Blitzkrieg. Going for a cover, hooks the leg, but front under the rope. Like I said, the winner of this match takes on Takeshi Kato this Sunday in the semifinals of the Uprising Tournament. And if Blitzkrieg makes his way there, that's going to be a hell of an interesting matchup. And the same thing can happen in the next match. Jason Adams looks to be the one to go up against Rich Reed on Sunday. Pierce, though, might end the dreams early. He cannot. Two count only on Blitzkrieg. But Pierce looking to really establish himself, reinvent himself, get his career back on track. No better way to do that than winning this match and going on to Uprising. That's great. Beautiful swing and the legs out from Pierce. Hangs him up and hits him with a big neck breaker off the ropes. Shoots the half, goes for a cover here. Pierce close to the ropes. Two, and that does come into play. He gets his foot on the rope. Referee stops the count. Ever since losing the Tag Team Championships, though, Blitzkrieg and Takeshi Kato have looked like a force to be reckoned with, so Pierce is going to have to bring out the big guns if he wants to win this one. Roll up, small package by Blitzkrieg. Pierce is all tied up in knots, but he just gets out at the nick of time to kick out at two and a half. Oh, springboard moonsault from Blitzkrieg misses the mark. Pierce sits up. I don't know if he intended to counter that, but hey, he lucked himself into a big, big counter. Pierce throws Blitzkrieg out of the ring. Uh-oh, we're going to see a little a little high-flying action from Pierce. Over the top rope with a tope con Hilo. We've seen Blitzkrieg fly around a lot, but Pierce ain't no stranger to flying through the air as well. And he crushes Blitzkrieg there. Tonight in our main event, ladies and gentlemen, six-man tag action as three members of the LBA take on Jackson Montgomery, Bryce Phoenix, and Corporal Punishment. You may be asking, Corporal Punishment, didn't he uh, lose last week to, to end his career? Yes, he did, but his career isn't over yet, and I will tell you why after Pierce comes off the top rope with a big hurricane run, a sense of flying almost out of the ring. He hooks the leg now. One, two... Just two and a half there. Blitzkrieg with the shoulder up. I don't know how he did that because his head got spiked into the mat off a fantastic Hurricane Rana. Drops down with a counter. Fireman's carry takedown. Blitz now going for uppercuts, going for some strikes. A little bit wild with his shots, but he manages to hit the mark on most of them. Knee strike to the head, followed up by a clothesline. He is back in control. 
Blitzkrieg goes to the outside. Springboard, 450 splash. Hits the target and then some. He's going to go for a cover after this. One, two. Pierce, though, to his credit. He's the one to get the shoulder up and fight back now. I will, I will continue my th train of thought on Ivan and, and Corporal Punishment situation later, but let's see how this match plays out. Cause this thing is getting to the nitty-gritty. This week, Purchase Pierce up to the top rope, and he's going to... He's going to hit him with a big power bomb off the top rope. Pierce, nothing that he could do about that. He gets sent across the ring, and this one looks like Blitzkrieg is about to wrap things up. Drops him down. Goes for the running knee strike counter by a drop to a hold. Pierce, the ingenuity on that was unbelievable, and he is surveying the situation. He knows that he avoided certain doom. He's calling his shot. Is he going to be able to hit it out of the park? Metris Blitzkrieg. Is he going to go for this Brain Buster? Gets him up, puts him down. Brain Buster by Pierce right in the middle of the ring. He's got to go for a cover. Oh, my God. Spiking his head into the mat. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have our next qualifying member for the semifinals of Uprising. That is a three count. And Pierce knocks off Blitzkrieg to go on to Uprising to take on his tag team partner. Wow. I gotta say, even uh, in my opinion, I had Blitzkrieg penciled in as the favorite here, but Pierce pulled out all the stops, and he is going on to the Uprising pay-per-view to take on Takeshi Kato, which is gonna be a hell of a challenge in and of itself. He thought Blitzkrieg was challenging Takeshi, especially now that his partner is eliminated, he knows exactly what is on the line. Look at some of these. Pierce pulled out all the high-flying offense to the point where Blitzkrieg couldn't even get any of his off. And I think that was the secret to victory right there. Oh, and that brain buster was all she wrote. No doubt about it. We almost have all the pieces of the puzzle complete. We just have one more left to go. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to figure it out next. Because our last quarterfinal matchup for the Uprising Tournament is going to be Jason Adams versus Granat Tubes. The winner of that goes on to take Rich, take on Rich Reed at Uprising. Here celebrates his victory as he should, but he knows he's got two more steps to go before he can fully declare himself the Uprising tournament winner. Up next, though, this is going to be another hell of a match. Granada is in a bit of a similar situation as Pierce was. He's looking to get his career back on track, establish himself in the title picture once more. And he got a little taste of it a couple of months ago when he beat Jackson Montgomery while Jackson was the world champion and managed to get the world title match out of, the, out of it. Didn't come up victorious in the world title match, but you absolutely know that, he, that that brief taste of championship glory that he almost achieved has got to be still in the back of his throat. And he's looking to get back there by winning the Uprising Tournament. But Jason Adams has been hungry for a very long time. And now that Rich Reed has qualified last week, I, I, I think he's going to pull out as many stops as he can to make sure he gets there to take on his tag team partner as well. This is going to be a hell of a match. Maybe the match of the tournament so far if things go off as they, as they very well have the potential to. We'll see what happens. But like I was saying earlier, Corporal Punishment lost last week in the quarterfinals. And... He made the declaration that he would retire if he didn't make it through this tournament. I believe he fully intends on living up to that declaration. But before he retires, he will get one more match. He will have one last match, and that will be this Sunday at Uprising because his former tag team partner and current friend still, they're still friends, Ivan Yakov, he didn't have a challenger for the world championship. As far as I was concerned, he was probably going to have the night off. But he is going to defend the CME World Championship against his former tag team partner, Corporal Punishment, for no other reason than he just wanted to give his partner something to, to go out on. So even if Corporal wins, I'm not sure if he wins if he sticks around, but it very well looks like it's going to be Corporal's last match, or one of his last matches. We will see. It's, <laughs> Uprising couldn't get any more stacked if we tried and that match wasn't even originally scheduled to be anywhere near this card so 
Sunday's going to be a treat, ladies and gentlemen. I advise you to tune in no matter what. But if you're tuning in right now to Pulse, you're going to see a hell of a treat as well. Jason Adams, Grenat. Let's get it going. Let's see what happens. These two start off immediately coming after each other. Jason gets the better of him so far. Gets him up. Vertical suplex early. Establishing his dominance on the mat is Adams. Grenat's up, though. Jason, maybe taking a little bit too much time. Grandstanding early. It's a little too early for that. He's made that mistake before. It's springboard moonsault on the head of Jason Adams. I don't know if that hit the target or if that's what he intended on doing, but Jason's head spiked into the mat. Big knee strike trying to get his bearings back after that move. They're not put right down. Jason's got him grabbed by the side, going for that swing inside suplex. Gets countered by a beautiful backflip from Grenot, who hits Jason Adams with the German suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, how the tables have turned. Jason getting an early taste of his own medicine here. Granat now, big victory roll. He's got Jason locked up with nowhere to go. He can't get to the ropes. Jason uses his momentum, flips it over. Two count. Granat kicks out at two. Quick shot to the back of the head sets up. Jason now for that beautiful Northern Light suplex with a bridge. We got a one. And one is all we're going to get early on. Granat kicks out. Jason goes for a springboard leg drop. Granat tried to sit up and counter it. I'm not sure if Jason grazed him, but I, I think he definitely hit him somewhere. These two a little reckless early, especially Jason. A little bit reckless with his offense, but it's working out so far because he's got him rolled up with a bridge. Can Granat get out of this predicament? Two count. He sneaks out somehow. Only two, but a very, very close to ending this one early. Jason going up to the second rope. Granat quickly follows suit, pulls his leg down, and that is a hard landing to take if you're Jason Adams. Granat up top. What's he, gonna got, what's he got planned here? Missile drop kick on the button. Oh my God, you heard that shot from here. That forearm was just absolutely devastating. Granat after a couple strikes. Irish whips Jason into the corner. He's got Jason set up into the, on the top rope. What is two going to do here? He's going to go for a hurricane run, it looks like. But Jason fighting back. Shots to the ribs. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, throws Granat off the top rope. And he's going to follow this up with a beautiful moonsault off the top. We got a one, two. Granat just powers out. But I thought with that flurry, Jason could have very well had it. Going for Northern Light Suplex again. Hits it this time. No bridge. Not going to go for a pin this time. Instead, he's going up top again. He's going to look to try and finish him off with some high-risk offense. Crowd is very much into this match, and they're very much into Jason on the top rope. What is he coming off with? Oh, my God. He went for a flying clothesline. Gets caught in midair into an overhead belly-to-belly. -belly. How the hell did Granat pull that off? He's setting him up. He's going to go for the Moy Caliente. He plants him down with the Moy Caliente. One, two. No, it's not a three count. How the hell did Jason kick out? That's the move that put down Jackson Montgomery. Jason fighting back, throws his arm out of the way, and he's got a German suplex locked in. How the hell does he have the ability or the strength to pull that off so soon? There's three German suplexes. And ladies and gentlemen, if, if, if this is any indication, we might be in for a, for a hell of a ride when it comes to Granat. Oh, two and a half, he gets out. He gets the shoulder up. Remember, it took about 13 German suplexes against Bryce Phoenix for Jason to qualify for this tournament. So Granat certainly does not want to experience that. Jason measuring his man up. Going for something. Now, whatever he had planned, I am not sure. Countered by a fireman's carry. These two men are going back and forth. Their lives depend on it. Their professional lives absolutely depend on this matchup right here. And they're showing it. Plants Jason face first into the mat. Wrap around. Slam. Good spinning back kick to the gut. Hard knife edge chop. Spinning back kick. Knife edge chop. The combination is incredible. And Jason clotheslined out of the ring. He has no idea what's just hit him. We're not looking to follow suit. Where is he going? He's going to... Oh, he's going to fly with the... Twisting corkscrew plancha. Look at this. In midair, he twisted. He twists with a moonsault. And that is just a thing of beauty. The athleticism is unreal. 
This crowd is absolutely going wild. Oh my God, I don't even, it doesn't matter who wins this, they both earned it. This is a hell of a showing, they're both putting out here. Springboard into the ring with a frog splash. Granat lays it on thicker and thicker with every move. Is that enough to put Jason away? We've got a two, but a kick out follows suit. Oh my God, Granat going up top, but Jason springs up to his feet. I don't think Granat has any idea that just happened. He kicks the ropes out to shake his, his balance, and that definitely did enough to rock Granat for a long enough time to give Jason the opportunity to strike. Jason's got, they're both standing very, very tall and hits him with a superplex, twists through off the top with a superplex into a falcon arrow. My God, this is a clinic. These two are putting on a clinic. Is that enough now to win the match for Jason Adams? Two count does not get the three count. Oh my God, and his body language says it all. These guys are spent. This has been an this has absolutely been a sprint and not a marathon. Roll up with a bridge. Referee a little slow on the uptake there, and Granat gets out very, very early. Doesn't want to give himself any chance of getting beaten. Look at Jason though. He, he is absolutely spent. He was down to one knee. He couldn't even get himself up to his feet. We got an Irish whip. Baseball slide under. Oh my god, Jason counters with a super kick. Hello. Hooks the leg now. Two. Oh, Granat kicks out again. I thought that super kick could have knocked him out cold. It was a hell of a counter. Granat now springs up to his feet, hits him with a flying forearm. Where are these guys getting this energy from? It's unreal. Scoop slam. Countered by Jason, who sweeps the legs out from underneath him. Hits him with a big knee strike to the, to the back of the leg. Jason now going to go for more German suplexes. He's got a German backflip countered by Grenat. Are you absolutely out of your mind? How in the hell is this happening? Irish whip into the corner. Grenat is... This is an incredible effort from both men. Off the second rope, sunset flip. No pin after it, but he manages to turn Jason inside out. And Granat is going to go up top, looking to solidify his victory here. If he can hit this, I don't think there's any way. Jason kicks out. The twisting moonsault does not connect. And now Jason Adams has Granat right where he wants him. Overhead, belly to belly suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, these two are, men are pouring their souls out onto the mat for this one match. And you are seeing in Moonsault, is that enough to finish this one? The second Moonsault doesn't get him. It didn't get the win. What more can these guys do to each other? Oh, he's going for more German suplexes this time. No counter for Granada. He's got those hands locked tight. Five German suplexes now. There's the sixth. Oh my goodness gracious, he's calling for it. Is he gonna call for that perfect 10 pump handle? He is. This is the move that won Jason the qualifier. It beat Bryce Phoenix and he plants it on Granat. Hooks the leg. One, two, no way. I was about to say something that would get me fired from any other job. My, how the hell did he kick out? Jason can't believe it. He springboards in with a big elbow drop. He's keeping the pressure on. And he's gonna try and finish this one off after that. One. A one count. This is unprecedented, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know for a fact both of these men know the stakes at, at hand here, so this is what they're fighting for. This is absolutely unreal. Granada is still fighting back. An elbow strike gets him into the corner after an Irish whip. What more could he possibly have planned? He perches Jason on the top rope, but he's definitely more sluggish than he was before. Hurricane Rana misses the mark. Jason with an unbelievable counter. Senton bomb off the second rope. And that is that enough. That is all she wrote. Granat tried to hit. He went for the home run, but he struck out. That Hurricane Rana.
landed him right on the back of his head. And Jason didn't have to do much to finish it after that. But what a match. What an unbelievable quarterfinal match. I, it's going to be Jason Adams against his tag team partner, Rich Reed, at an uprising. And that is going to be, if, if history is any indication, that's going to be an unbelievable match as well. But everybody's going to have to be on their A game if they want to top the intensity that these two men just put out on the line here tonight. That was fantastic. We can just go home now, ladies and gentlemen, and, and I would be satisfied with this show. That's how good that match was. But we still got a couple more matches to go, including a huge main event. But wow, I'm going to need to take this break after this match and catch my breath. That was a hell of, hell of a showing. Jason moves on. Bernard, nothing to be ashamed of. He's got a future in this business, no doubt about it. Up next, the women's tag team action. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, the women's title will be on the line. It's going to be Serena and Miss Molly in the women's championship match. But Penny May is also going to take on Aiko Katsuko one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to try and finish up whatever beef they have. But Miss Molly had absolutely no interest in teaming with Penny tonight. So Lisa Reynolds is taking her spot. I was going to have Miss Molly in this match originally. But Lisa is going to be a replacement. But Serena and Aiko are out early. They're going to try and, and, and get Penny before Lisa even gets out here. Penny's in the ring now. Oh, here comes Lisa Reynolds. Michael collides with Penny in the ring. Hits her with a drop kick. This is a little taste of Penny's own medicine. Hooks the leg. One, two. Lisa coming down to the ring now. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way Penny May couldn't have kicked out of that, but she had absolutely no intention of, of fighting this match here tonight. Well, I am sorry that match was so quick. What the hell? Hey, Aiko and Serena are victorious, getting some momentum before Sunday, I guess. But, yeah, I think we're going to take another break soon then. Yeah? Wow. We'll talk about this a little bit more when we come back. But our main event is up next, and it's going to be six-man tag team action. So yeah, there's absolutely no way that Penny May couldn't have gotten out of that pinning combination. There's no way. Penny May was a women's champion. Despite her shenanigans that she pulled a lot, she was the women's champion for, for a number of months. So she just had no intention of fighting here tonight, which is completely in character with Penny May. So you could blame her for not getting that match. Either way, though, we're going to see what happens when the women's championship is on the line Sunday and when Penny steps in the ring with Aiko Katsuko try and settle their score. But at least Aiko and Serena gave Penny a little, little taste of her own medicine here tonight. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, a main event that has huge implications for so many matches this Sunday. It's going to be Jackson Montgomery, Bryce Phoenix, and Corporal Punishment against the LBA. It's going to be Salvaje, Luis Sanchez, and Eric Campbell going to be a fun main event with these six names involved it's going to be absolutely intense but i've got a feeling joel is not far behind he never seems to be so we'll have to see what happens even if joel doesn't show up here tonight i guarantee you there's a there's a clear message being sent to the lba to make sure jackson gets out of here the worst for wear i don't know if he cares too much about bryce or corporal punishment in this situation Jackson Montgomery's going to need to watch out. I, I would absolutely use my partners if I was Jackson here. But knowing him, he's going to try and probably do it by himself. And we'll see what happens. You know what? I shouldn't say, by the way, Sunday is going to be Corporal Punishment's last match. Even if he wins or loses, I kind of feel like next week on Pulse should be Corporal Punishment's farewell match. If he wins and he doesn't want to retire, I'll just send that and he'll just be corporal punishment. Again. But if he loses, I want to give him a proper farewell on Pulse. You know, he's he's meant too much to CME since its inception. We got to give him something. Bryce Phoenix though is the one without a match at Uprising, which is surprising. But there's so many matches on, on 
show. I don't know if I can fit him in, which is, that's telling when your show is so stacked that Bryce Phoenix isn't on it. So maybe we'll find him a match. I kind of want to get him on the show, because like I said, he's Bryce Phoenix. And he's got a big problem with the LBA as, over the past couple of months, so I'm sure we could find something with him. But uh, either way, Uprising this Sunday is going to be... That's going to be a show you do not want to miss, I promise you that. And Bryce Phoenix and Jackson Montgomery have teamed up occasionally over the past couple of months, especially when it comes to the LBA, if they've pretty much been forced to at this point. Uh, but when they were a team, I remember distinctly, I mean, you see it every week in our opening video package, that match against the Mason family, they were impressive as all hell. So, Bryce Phoenix, Jackson Montgomery, and then you throw Corporal Punishment on the same team? I mean, I think I, if I'm the LBA, I'm, I'm watching out. I know they've been raising hell, but speaking of raising hell, the other, the other team on the other side of the ring, three of the biggest hell raisers in CME history. I mean, you could write a book on Bryce Phoenix alone, how much hell he's raised. Gentlemen, here comes the man himself, the challenger to Ivan Jakob's CME World Championship this Sunday, Corporal Punishment. It's, it's a little bittersweet watching him come out, though, because I'm going to miss this guy. He's been around for a long time. He's what you would call a grizzled vet, so I understand the decision, but it just sucks, you know? I know we haven't uh, seen eye to eye a lot of the time, but Corporal Punishment's a good guy. He's a great competitor. And he will be missed in the world of professional wrestling, no doubt about it. But this Sunday, he has the chance to make one final mark and win the world championship. We salute you too, sir. I had to give him that moment. It was hard, it was hard for me to talk over his uh, his entrance there. But, yeah, I have no problem talking over this entrance. The LBA are just absolute pieces of scum. I tried to get a word with, uh, with Jackson Montgomery before the main event, main event here tonight. You know, get his thoughts on Sunday's match. And he is just laser-focused. And that's something that, you know, normally Jackson's okay with giving you his opinion. But... He is locked in for this Sunday, and as a result, Joel, I'm sorry, but your scheduled interview ain't happening, so. I mean, if you didn't figure that out by now, I haven't interviewed you yet. But these two men, Joel and Jackson, table of and chairs in the mix, world title shot on the line. Knowing their history, it could be one of the most destructive matches in CMA history. If Jackson can make it there with one piece, because these three men right here, you, you know damn well they have they have a mission statement that they're going to try and follow here tonight. Let's see. Oh, Jackson is starting this one off. Like I said, I didn't expect anything less, but Jackson Montgomery is throwing himself into the lion's den right now. Eric Campbell starting things off. Jackson has not a care in the world, does he? Almost inviting Eric Campbell to come in and strike him, but... Eric tags himself out, and here comes Luis Sanchez. We got a collar and elbow tie up in the middle of the ring. Interesting way to start off this match. Jackson trying to establish his dominance, I suppose. Backs up after the side headlock by Luis. Going for a hip toss. Luis Sanchez counters. Very nice hip toss counter, and that's something that Jackson, I guarantee you, did not expect. He comes running right at him with a big forearm. Oh, he takes Eric Campbell down, takes Salvaje off the apron. Jackson Montgomery is on fire, wiping out the whole of the LBA. He's going up top. Leg drop off the top rope. Jackson starting this one off at 110 miles per hour. He goes for a cover early. One, two. Oh my God, Salvaje attacks the referee. Just need the referee in the head. That's one way to stop the count. Back suplex by Jackson. Oh, Luis Sanchez now going for a back suplex of his own. Jackson counters with a backflip. Ducks under the leg lariat. Goes into a pinning combination. What an amazing counter. Two. Th Jackson wins. Oh, my God. What the hell did we just see? I got to see that replay again. 
I, I think Jackson just countered a drop kick, a leg lariat, and turned it into a pinning combination that won him the match. Let's see this again. This is the final stretch of the match here. Counters the back suplex. Let's look at Salvahi coming in. Leg Larry ducks under it, rolls through, and, hit, and, and gets him in the pin. That was unbelievable. There's nobody better than Jackson Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen, even though he's not the world champion. The man is the best athlete in wrestling today. And his team wins. Wow, I'm speechless. But this Sunday, I'm not going to be speechless because I am still incredibly excited for what we have planned for Uprising. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I implore you, if you've ever enjoyed professional wrestling in your life, you're not going to want to miss this. 